Hi, this is Matt Reisinger with Reisinger Homes. Welcome to my video blog dedicated to building science and fine craftsmanship. I want to talk to you about the craftsmanship of concrete today. I'm on a project here. This is a new construction house. We're working with Alter Studios Architects here in Austin, Texas. And we did a mock-up wall because this house has a lot of board form walls on the house. This is going to be a real modern steel and glass and concrete house. And behind me here is a board form concrete site wall that we poured as a mock-up for what one of the house walls might look up, uh, look like. And I don't know if you've seen board form concrete, but this is basically a, a standard concrete wall that's been formed with wood. And when we take those forms off, we leave this, and this texture and this design is really a, a piece of sculpture and, and some really neat architecture, as well as being, uh, of course, structural on this house. So on this particular mock-up, we've got two different uh, types of board form. We've got a vertical board form on this side with two different wall ties to hold the two by fours that form this together. And then on this side, we've got horizontal uh, two by sixes basically is what we formed this with. And uh, as I mentioned, this is gonna be used in a bunch of places in the house. We wanted to show the architects and the clients what some of the wall tie options were. The wall ties are what, what hold that forming together, that form board material together. So when we're pouring concrete in the form, it doesn't, it doesn't expand out. And so we use two different types of wall ties. This is a metal wall tie here. And, uh, and that's what they look like when those break off. And then we used a fiberglass wall tie on the other side of this. We happen to be doing another um, uh, another site wall, very or another mock-up wall rather, very similar to this in another part of the property. So let's cut the video here, and we'll show you what this actually looked like prior to pour. All right, so now we're on the other side uh, of the property, and we're doing another mock-up wall on this section. And this is really what the other wall looked like prior to pouring. As you can see, you gotta make a super stout structure when you're doing this. We've, we put a bunch of kickers down to the ground here. We formed everything on this side with two by sixes uh, horizontally. And, uh, and then the wall ties we're using are two different wall ties like you saw in that other mock-up. We've got a metal wall tie, which I think we've decided we actually don't wanna use on this project now that we've seen that mock-up finished. And our preference is gonna be a fiberglass wall tie. This is a, a rod of fiberglass. And then we've got two wedge anchors on either side of the wall that we're able to tighten and hold that fiberglass down. And, uh, and then when we pour this, this will stay nice and rigid. It's not gonna move on us. And the idea is that we're gonna eventually see those boards in the outline of those horizontal or vertical lines, just like you saw on the other side. Let's walk around and I'll show you the vertical ones. All right, so now on this side, we've got the vertical boards. These are actually ripped uh, two bys. Uh, we were going for a two inch vertical look. And you can see how we, we've had to brace those with some horizontal boards. Again, these are the fiberglass wall ties sticking through here. And these are the wedge anchors that have yet to be tightened up. But once we tighten these up, this is gonna lock this down into one solid mix. And then the mixture of concrete is very important too. We're using uh, some plasticizers on this concrete and we're gonna have to certainly vibrate when we pour this thing. Um, but ultimately, it's gonna make a really finished, a really beautiful finished project. We've got a lot of walls on this, so keep out for some future videos and we'll show you what these look like. But if you're doing board form or if you're considering board form, Hire a contractor that has some experience with it. Um, make sure you're following these steps that I mentioned with uh, fiberglass wall ties and the plasticizers and brace the heck out of your wall before you pour those because you really only get one chance to do this right. Thanks for joining me, everybody. We'll see you next time.